hey 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 welcome back to the tutorial series and today we are doing this type of cam Okay, so, first off, as always, you're gonna have to enter the media tracker. And I have my replay right here, which is a, some kind of a drift replay uh, on a map I made. This is a valley map mixed with the canyon car. And I could just show you how this map is built. I just... Doing a little bit of a uh, normal gameplay cam right here just to show you. So we have this drift replay, right? So first off, I mean, with this type of cam, you need more than just one. Okay, so this is a transition which uh, can allow you to make smooth transitions uh, into a different camera uh, without adding a hard cut. Okay. It is still some kind of a cut, uh, it has a little bit of fade between two clips, but uh, after all, it will look totally smooth. So, for this, we are going to find out a specific position of the car, just as always. And we're gonna start, of course, with the custom camera. Now, I'm gonna... No. Uh, I'm gonna... Add the anchor to our car. As always, uh, if you wanna slow down the camera uh, movement, just hit uh, the minus on the, no on the numpad uh, a couple of times. Then it will be s slower when you have the plus. It will be faster. Okay. So, we're gonna start right here. Right now, I'm gonna copy the second keyframe. There we go. Just to remember you, to copy a keyframe, you just click on the keyframe, which should be changed. You hold down the control key and press on the keyframe, which is to copy. So in this example, I copied the first keyframe onto the second. Okay. I guess this should be enough. All right. A little bit more like this. And now I'm gonna um, just put some adjustments to the camera um, we have uh, on this clip I have to add some keyframes in between because you see the camera is going through the ground so I don't want that I'm gonna just put in a keyframe and move it up a bit same problem right here going a little bit afterwards Just the camera. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a side view over here because there's a train. So we got this pretty simple camera already and the trick now is uh, to put in the, the fast camera movement for the transition. 
So in this example, uh, at the first position, because this is the first camera, I just want to get it out. So I'm going to add another keyframe shortly after the first keyframe. And the first keyframe is going downside. I'm gonna look down. So now you can see the camera is going up and going inside of the view for the car. And at the end, I'm gonna do pretty much the same. I'm gonna drag it a little bit more over here. There we go. Put in a keyframe. Let's view it down. Now we have a really good transition over here. The thing is, with the uh, interpolation of the camera, you see that the cam is going a little bit more upside, uh, more up than the keyframe is intended. So if we go here, you see the camera is still going a little bit up. That's totally fine. If it is too strong, I recommend you just zoom in a little bit and put in an extra keyframe between those two. This will reduce the uh, interpolation after a big movement. But for this I uh, kind of want it smooth. So now we have this cam and of course I'm gonna add the cut because you want only this to be rendered. Let's add some of the effects. Camera shake, some pretty basic stuff, pretty simple. I'm gonna make it uh, two zero two. This is um, those camera shakes are always just a reference, okay? Never just trust on these to be uh, perfectly fine for all scenes, because uh, it always depends on the scene uh, what amount of camera frame you use. Okay, I think the camera movement right here is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna add a. Keyframe in between. That is fine. Uh, I want a little bit more cam shake over here, so I'm gonna add an, uh, another another cam shake. I'm gonna make this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this intensity. I'm gonna make. No, I'm not gonna leave this intensity. Base 0 0.5, to 3, something like this. Okay. It's just sub. Uh, uh, it's not that much. You won't see it that clearly. But it gives uh, uh, a good look afterwards. So, now that we've done the first camera, we have, of course we need a second camera. I'm gonna zoom out here, Let's see this. I'm gonna save this um, to like, I'm gonna, nope, I'm gonna save this to, uh, let me see. Blue. Still have this folder. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. Um, it's a tutorial replay. So what you can do is you could save this as a um, single replay now and continue working on it and save it as a different replay then again. But uh, I'm just gonna make it in one replay because I'm gonna cut like this run in a lot of parts. Okay, so now we have to find a new a new position. Uh, since we added a camera, we can't move freely around. You have to click this button right here on the bottom side uh, to be able to move around again. All right, now let's see.
I guess this position should be good. A little bit back there. Alright. So, the thing now is. Oh, nope. I. Whoops. Uh, I want to add a custom camera. That's the thing. You can't just hit the plus on the left side and add a new camera. You have to click on the. Uh, if you do it in one replay, you have to click on the, the timeline for a custom camera. And you hit this arrow down and add a new camera. This is how it works if you have already a camera in the. Okay, so what's important now is that we have to analyze the last camera movement, some kind of one. We have to, to see. Uh, okay, so the camera is going down. So this is the movement we want to start with at the next cam. Therefore, what we're gonna do is, uh, first off again, copy the keyframe. It's always the same. And now we have to add some more keyframes. It's always the same, you know. Something like this. And now here comes the, the tricky part. The tricky part. <laughs> port. <laughs> uh, we're gonna add a new cam. Uh, it's, but it's almost the same as we did in the first cam. Gonna add a new keyframe. But this time the first camera goes upside. Okay. A bit too fast. Some kind of wanna hit the, the same sweet spot as in the first cam. Same movement speed. There we go. Next up, uh, I want to make it go to sideways. So I'm just going to make it. Let's watch it. Alright, I'm gonna add a new keyframe, uh, a extra keyframe. There we go. I'm gonna leave it out there. You see? If I add a keyframe in front, it will uh, add this extra movement right there because of the interpolation. Uh, that's something we don't want, as I told you already. So I'm gonna uh, make the movement a little bit slower. It is too slow. <laughs> too slow. There we go. Alright, same thing again. Add the cut. Uh, as I told you, just the same way as I added a camera right now. I'm gonna add some cam shake again. There we go. Alright, and now you have to do this pretty much with uh, every cut you want to do. 
And after that, I'm gonna show you how to put them together in your video program. All right. After you've rendered your clips, you should head to your video program, of course. Then I'm gonna make a new project. Uh, I just don't count about the name right now. Um, it's 60 FPS. Yep. All right. So, how are we gonna do this? First off, let's head to your render folder and put all the videos in there. Uh, for me, I have to create some proxy files which make them uh, faster loading and playback faster in my video program. Uh, this won't take too long. I've only made four clips. By the way, you can download the replay file to the tutorial episode in the description and take a look at yourself. I would recommend you use the Trackmania 2 title pack where you have all the environments together in one. And this is where I made my uh, replay in. So, all right, now let me see. There we go. And you see already the transitions. Almost super smooth. But we're gonna make them a little bit smoother. And this is totally easy. You just kind of overlap them. I can just make a crossfade right here. You know, and you can push a little bit around to set how long this should last. Or how clean it should be. Something like this. And that's all you have to do. <laughs> all right. So now that I, we have reached the end of this tutorial and I'm already finished cutting it, um, some kind of wood cutting. <laughs> um, I want to thank all of you for your support and still watching my videos. And I hope after now that I got a new GPU, um, I'm gonna make some more videos. And I hope I can keep be motivated for that. So, see you next time. And by the way, join the Discord. Uh, I'm going to have some polls there for the next episode of the tutorial series. See ya!